to ourselves? Yeah, to be honest, I expect a bigger show for Two Broke Girls 2, the musical, Fast and Furious edition. Yeah, it did get 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's what I have, though. It's like having our own private movie theater. Nothing too good for my guy. Wait! Did you rent this whole theater out to propose to me right now? <laughs> no. That would have been funny. Maybe next time. Okay. Enjoy the movie. Popcorn! Hat! Buttery! Oh, Freaking popcorn! Right here! Sir, I'll take one. We'll take one down here, but... You don't know if a popcorn is here? Come on. Right here. We'll take one. Can you not hear us? Popcorn going once! Popcorn Sir, going twice! Right here. Right here, sir. We'll take one. We'll take two. Right here. Two. 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 Three strikes now. Right. My sales are going down the two. Maybe we can come back and turn it off. What? What is happening? going on? We'll get him on the next one. Yeah, let's just rejoin him. Let's just watch. So you want my life story? All right. Grew up in Charleston. Yep. Been doing vendor work since I was about four years old. It's been pretty pissy. So, last year I've been working. Everything's going great. Four months in, I get fired. I've been eating my own product. They caught me red-handed, literally red-handed. It was red cotton candy. The boy can't help it, he loves it. All right, so I say to myself, what do you want to do, kid? What's your life goals here? So I get my kids, I get my wife, I pack the car. Going out in Desport, Cape Cod. I say, I'm gonna be the first movie theater vendor ever. I'm gonna be the Jackie Robinson of this sh You watch. When I first met my husband, we was arguing about who was at fault for the fender bender. He called me arrogant, and so I yelled at him, called him a rude SOB. We was married three weeks later. When you know, you just know, you know. But then, when he told me that he lost his job, first thought that I had is, what a divorce this kid. Then he has this movie theater vendor idea. He strikes gold and he hits him like a sack of bricks. He's an innovator. A regular day Steve Jobs kid. It's wicked piss up. I've thrown this man out many times before. He doesn't actually work here. Someone help me! I scroll beer here. Who wants it? Who wants my scroll? Hey, I'll Sir? take one, man. I scroll Teddy Brewskis. Sir, I. Not I will take one. Not a take in the group. All right, no. let me try to protect it. Gluten free beer. Sir. We just want a beer. Right here. Can All you right. not see us? One more. Organic home Hello? grass beer. We're right here. Can you not hear her? She's pretty loud. I. Right. Twenty-five percent. Drunk off one sip. We'll take it. We'll have it. Right. We want the beer. He's Cape Codis, man. All they like is vodka and cranberry. And beer. beer. Beer's great too. Like Bostonians would eat this crap up though. Oh yeah, I worked all over. I mean, I'm talking Gillette Stadium, Harvard Yard, Aganis Arena. I'm talking TD Garden for Bruins and Celtics. Tom Brady's guest house. Twice. Honestly though, my favorite work environment, right here. The people, it's the people, it's a people business. You guys know what I'm talking about. Come on. But something about the way over here. They make jokes all the time. They're always cracking lines. They're just like, uh, hey buddy, you don't even work here, or uh, <laughs> get out of here already, or uh, door makers call the cops again. Didn't you have to leave in handcuffs last time? <laughs> These freaking people. Bless their hearts. They took this kid in from Southie and they gave him a home. What more is there to say? I call the cops. They throw him out on his ass. He somehow gets back in. I don't know how he does it, but I tell him, point blank, to his Boston trashy face, Buddy, you don't work here. You're not an employee. Ugh. He's persistent, he's tenacious, and he's driven. All the qualities I would want in someone in, that I was, you know, had hired underneath me, but I'm not hiring. God, I tell you. Hello? Yes, yes, the towny trash guy is still here. Of course we tried that. Yes, of, we, of course we tried that one too, we just did that! No, you're a manager, Grandma! I mean, 
I was working as a stockbroker before this. But when your significant other strikes gold, you grab a shovel and you start digging. You know, Chucky, someday you're going to wake up in your big mansion next to Tom Brady, hanging out with Gronkowski, and you're going to be like, that movie theater had to think. Genius. $50 million a year? No thanks, Mr. President. I already make $100 million.